All right, cool. What's going on, y'all? It is I, the wavy one here, and I am in nature because the sun's going down. It's beautiful, though. Happy New Year, okay? It is freaking April. April Fool's Day. It's actually, it's April 2nd right now. But, you know, what they say, April Fool's Day because people who thought that, oh, April is the beginning of the year, which, why would they think that? Because when, like, the entire world changed the calendars wait what the calendars used to be different well everything used to be different <laughs> but yeah they changed the calendars because we're supposed to have 13 months you can look this up we're supposed to have 13 months each month is supposed to be 28 days boom which that's why there's a difference between the tropical uh astrological stuff and then the sidereal Right? I'm not too deep into that, but I, I know enough. But I am going to enjoy some freaking watermelon. I haven't had a watermelon in a while. It's a nice little personal, beautiful little beauty. Seedless, yes. However, seedless doesn't mean that there are no seeds in it. It just means that the seeds aren't fully developed. However, I have that. I have this. I have one of the freaking melon knives. There's a lot of things to talk about. I haven't seen you beautiful people in so long. And just the love that I've been withholding, eh, not withholding, but you know, it, it builds up, right? And then you just gotta let it out. You know, it's best to let it out, right? If you have the love, if your cup runneth over, why not share your love for life with the rest of the world? And this spot that I'm in right now, I'm really going all over the place. I'm so freaking excited. I even have, I got a cutting board. I bought a cutting board so that I could cut it on the, the cutting board. All right, so our camera's cutting off. It wouldn't be a day in the life of me if that didn't happen. But as you can see what I mean, right? You see all the white seeds? Okay, that's not what seeds are supposed to look like, as we should know. But there's a black one in there. I've actually never seen this from a seedless, you know, a supposedly seedless watermelon, but I got a couple of black seeds in here. So there are some of the seeds in this one, which like I said, this is the first time I've ever seen it, um, that are fully developed, but the ones without the black outside coating are not fully developed seeds. Like I said, there's a lot of things. Okay, so there's the whole, you know, the New Year's, the calendar 13 months and we're supposed to be 28 days each month and it's perfect right um and then there's the whole eclipse that's coming on august 8th so that's six days from now which there's a lot of different cities that are getting armed guards well not armed guards coast guard and different you know people like that together they're also telling people to get two weeks worth of food and you know, all these different things. And if you look into it, there is a lot of things going on with that. So I, I definitely do believe there's something to it that some certain people know about. But at the end of the day, there's nothing to be worried about. Just focus on health, okay? You need to be healthy because when some real shit goes down, if you're not healthy, especially men, right? We are the ones, okay, the big strong protectors. We need to be in place physically, mentally, spiritually, all right? To where we can hold space for everyone else. And even if you, you know, you weren't in the army, you don't have training, this and that, like it's in your, it's in you already to, you know, when you need the freaking, <clears throat> you can do that, okay? But you just want to be in a good, healthy mental state, emotional, physical, you know, you just want to be healthy so that if something were to happen, you can be there to be what you need to be and play your role for a possible shit hits the fan type situation. And we know the whole new world order and da, 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 you know, we already know about all that stuff. So. It's coming, we know what they're doing, it's an election year. So we already know, it's gonna be crazy and I'm ready for it, okay? 
Also, Mike Tyson is fighting Jake Paul. If he loses, I don't think Mike's gonna lose. I, I don't, I don't, Mike's not, Mike Tyson's not the type of person to, to, to take a die, right? He's, you know, he's not gonna do that. He ain't having no deals with Marcellus Wallace talking about, hey, you my nigga, right? Like, no, 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 no. Mike Tyson is not about to come out of retirement to lose to a YouTuber, all right? That's just, you know, that's not happening. But if it does happen, <laughs> Illuminati, or one of them people, right? Because the Illuminati is not even at the top of the, of the thing, you know? Of the pyramid, I guess you could say. Something weird happened the other week. Like these girls were following me around HEB. That's our uh, one of the grocery stores we have here. And like it, it, it was, it's kind of, it's weird. That's never happened to me before. It was kind of, when you think about it, it was kind of, in a way, kind of flattering. Cause I was kind of, cause I saw them first and I kind of thought like, oh, damn, you know, but I, you know, I'm not trying to, nothing like that right now. Not at this point in my life, because I'm on a, a real good path, in a real good place. So I'm just, I'm just cooling. It, it was, it was strange. It was just strange. It's like, I was looking at something in the store. They came and like stood behind me and were talking. Not even like whispering. They were just talking. And then I left and I, I was like, that's kind of strange. I'm thinking in my mind, are they going to do it again? And I freaking turn the corner. I'm looking at the T's in the T section. And then there they go. I see them out the corner of my eye. Turn the corner, stand behind me. And they're just talking. And then they they walked off. And I'm like, I like, I there there's that urge. There's that urge for me. Anyway, it might not be for every guy, but there's that urge. I just wanted to turn around and be like, yo, what's up? But uh, you know, I'm in a I'm in a place where I, I just want to be more chill, you know, because I've got the energy. As you can see, I might seem like a crackhead right now. That's just like I said, I've the love has built up and that's just the, the energy that I have. Right. And I'm not even the healthiest person. I might talk about, you know, this and that, but I still have work to do. So. Hmm. Speaking of which, I actually just thought about something. Books. I mentioned books. I don't know. It was cutting off. So, but uh, I've been buying books because I used to have a, a little book collection. And then magically, all my books disappeared. I've got books. Okay. I talked about this in another video, but it was a video about a salad. And I didn't want to have two salad videos in a row. So, even though these are the salad days, salads are just. I'm telling you, said the salads have been on point, right? But I got a couple books. Yeah. Oh shit. Yep. I got dirt on my watermelon, but that's okay. I mean, there's there's good stuff about dirt too, but you know, I wouldn't just scoop up a thing of dirt and just start munching on it. But you don't have to be afraid of dirt. Like you don't have to be afraid of bacteria. You don't have to be afraid of nature. There's a lot of people who are afraid of nature and natural things and just life in itself. There's people who are afraid of life, All right? Don't be afraid of that opportunity that you could take. Don't be afraid of that person you could talk to. Don't be afraid to be who you want to be. There's a lot of people who are afraid to be what they want to be because society and people around us that we care about, they mean well, but they might bring us down unconsciously. But you are fully aware. You see what's happening. So don't allow their programming to corrupt, you know, what you've got going on, what you've been working on. Because you've been putting in the effort, okay, to better yourself. That way you can better your kids. Because we clean our bodies. That way, you know, you when the man cleans himself, that means he's going to have some good, healthy, potent seeds, okay? And when the woman cleans herself, that means she's gonna have good, clean, healthy eggs and a good, um, you know, body 
to raise a child inside of, you know, to incubate that child for the time that it takes, which if you were healthy, it's only supposed to take seven, like seven, maybe eight months to have a child, not nine, like it usually does, because that's because, you know, people aren't really that healthy. But anyway, yeah, I got books. The freaking grape cure, okay? Uh, those of you who know Dr. Robert Morris, he talks about grapes a lot. And, you know, Arnold Eric also talks about grapes. And this is Joanna Brandt, okay? She also, uh, official, if y'all can see that at the top, official Eric Society edition, which Arnold Eric Society, okay? So this is kind of in connection with him. Uh, so I haven't, I haven't uploaded any Arnold Eric stuff. I did. I, I uploaded a uh, rational fasting. I don't think he talks about grapes in that one. I think he, I think he does actually, because he talks about different types of fasting. So you can do water, you can fast on, you know, just, you know, fruit. You can do the lemonade fast, which nowadays a lot of people call it the master cleanse, which the book is titled the master cleanser. But as far as my research has gone, Arnold Eric is actually the one who started that and not, um, I forget the guy who, who did that. And then honestly, probably where did he get it from? You know, because in this book, it talks about, you know, she did the research and she found people, you know, hundreds of years ago before she even started doing this, people who were healing people with just grapes. So. Grapes are definitely very powerful, very cleansing and building. Uh, and it talks about the different properties of all the grapes in here. So when I buy grapes now, I try to, you know, get the, cause they have a pack at Kroger, which has all three colors in it. So I'm gonna go buy one of those. Cause I usually like the grapes to last me at least two days. Sometimes it stretches to three. I actually have some grapes over there in a mason jar, but, uh, yeah, so I already read this book and definitely it's pretty good. So I'm kind of doing a grape thing. Most of my diet is grapes, but you know, I throw in some watermelon, some citrus in there, just kind of shake it up. I mean, it's all super cleansing and just good for the body in general. So, you know, I mean, raw foods, it's just <laughs> fruit. It's so simple, you know? Then I have the freaking castor oil, if y'all know. Right, when I talked about that, the hoodie that I always wear, which, uh, cause I usually cover myself in oils after I get out of the shower. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, castor oil is one of my favorite oils. So I bought a book to discover more about it. And then the book that just came in today, which I was supposed to get it last week, but you know, it took a whole week to get here, but the freaking Dow. I have the Dao De Ching. I've really been into the Dao of, I mean, pretty much all. I knew about the Dao and then my ex kind of got into it. And then I kind of got back into it, you know, because of her. And then recently it's just really been mm, there cause I'm trying to be, you know, chill and stuff like that. So yeah. And then uh, Kung Fu, if y'all have ever seen Kung Fu, or if you've never seen it, with David Carradine, who's not alive anymore. Uh, he died in an interesting way. So I'll, I'll say it like that. But yeah, um, yeah, I just got this book. And so now I can read about the freaking Tao and it's cool. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. So yeah, uh, I've been buying more books and these aren't all the books that I've recently gotten, just the few that I wanted to bring for the purposes of this video. Cause I was only gonna bring this book, but I'm like, well, if I'm gonna shoot the video and I wanna talk about my books, I might as well bring a couple more books. So some certain things that you do just for the sake of a video, right? But I, I was planning on reading this book, but I got out here a little bit late. So yeah, I'm losing the sun, but I mean, as soon as I turn this camera off, which I'm about to do, uh, that way I can finish my watermelon, read a little bit of this book before the sun goes away. Then I'm gonna go to the store, get my grapes, go home, chill. And then 
tomorrow I'm gonna come back out here and shoot some B-roll because it's it's so freaking beautiful. This field, I, like I said, I've been meaning to come here for a while. And yeah, this is this is fantastic. This is, there's so much abundance. There's I've never seen this many red clovers, and the the thistles, the bull thistle, and then there's there's just so much. Every there's literally every plant, pretty much that I can find within a 20 mile radius, is here. Okay, and I've done my walking, right? How oh, I've done my walking. Okay, people are afraid to walk. It's funny. People are really afraid to walk. Anyway, I just choose not to be fearful because there's two choices, love or fear. And I want to love. So, uh, I've rambled on long enough. This video is however long it is. Uh, you know, now that I finally was able to, you know, record it without worrying about it stopping because my other memory cards kind of, you know, was messing up the flow a little bit. But it's all good because we just go with it, you know? Be like water. Can you, when something happens, are you gonna freeze up? Are you gonna, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You know, you're gonna be pissed off or, you know, you're gonna cry about it. You know, just brush it off, whatever. You know, flow right over it or flow around it. Just continue, you know. Don't allow yourself to be stagnant because of other energies that are kind of getting in the way and rubbing up against you and you know what I'm saying? Whether it's people, situations, which a lot of times most situations will be, you know, other people, you know. Everyone's got their opinions, their, their feelings, their level of consciousness, but all we can do is love. If I've got to step away a little bit and, you know, let you do you over here while I do me over here, Sometimes that's what you got to do. You know, can you love from afar? Can you love yet not want to control? There's so many things. There's so... There's... Abundance. Oh yeah, I also dropped some music. Ha! <laughs> I released some literally end of the video and I just remembered but <laughs> I just dropped a tape uh yesterday April 1st uh it's a beat tape but it's pretty cool so if you like music stuff I mean I make music so y'all should know that by now so yeah go check that out I probably put some of the music in the background of this video to uh showcase it so but yeah you can check that out here on the channel you can go to SoundCloud I would have it on like Spotify and stuff like that but I'm just I'm just being chill. I'm not doing none of that stuff right now. But uh, yeah, anyway, I love you. Uh, I want to read a little bit of this book, even though I, I mean, I've, yeah. Uh, synchronicities, there's a lot of them going on. But um, I mean, that, that kind of always happens for me. Uh, but yeah, I want to read this book and I want to eat my watermelon and I just want to relax. So. I love you. Thank you for watching the video. Comment, like, subscribe if that's what you, you know what I'm saying? If that's what you want to do. And hopefully I'll see you later. So much love. Peace out.